Hey folks, I wanted to share this video with you. Uh, they said it couldn't be done, but I did it. And this is the uh, hack for installing a maglock on a ghost control uh, controller, gate controller. So you can see here that the gate is closing and it latches right there. It was not an easy thing to figure out, but um, with a multimeter and uh, watching the operation of the motor and, and uh, looking at the um, wiring, I figured it out. And so I thought I'd share it with you um, on how to install a maglock on a ghost control gate operator. When this gate closes, the maglock is, is off until it actually connects. And then you'll see the red light there come on and uh, it will lock. This is the device you need. It's on Amazon. It's a 12 volt uh, one channel relay. And you'll also need some Schottky uh, diodes. Um, I purchased these uh, from Amazon as well. They were like 10 bucks for a whole bunch of them. And the relay board is uh, powered by the black and the red wire. And I just super glued it. Uh, I shouldn't say super glued. I hot glued it to the inside of the uh, terminal board or the controller. And uh, the yellow wire is the trigger. So we'll get to that in a minute, but I'll show you exactly how to do this. It's really simple. So what you're going to do here is you're going to install two diodes on the open wire and on the closing wire. These are 12 volts and they only get the 12 volts when the, the gate is either closing or the gate is opening. So it runs the motor backwards or forwards in order to open and close the gate. But what these diodes do is prevent the, the back feed, basically, of, of the 12 volts into the closing side if it's opening and the opening side if it's closing. So that's sort of the trick. And um, so what you need to do is you need to have the relay and the output of these two diodes goes is connected together and then goes to the trigger on the relay and the trigger is what uh, opens and closes the relay and and uh, to install it on your uh, on the wires on the relay the common is going to go to your battery and the normally closed one is going to go to the maglock so once the um, once the voltage is applied to either the open or the close, it will trip the relay and shut off the mag lock. And that's what you want. So it's almost instantaneous. So when you, when you hit the button and the voltage starts the motor, it trips the relay real fast and the mag lock opens up and you're able to uh, have the gates functioning properly. Super happy with this. It's been running for about a month and a half, two months. And um, if you uh, have any questions or comments about it, just leave it down below and I'll answer them the best I can. Um, if you think this will help someone else who wants to install a mag lock instead of the silly uh, optional mo uh, lock that they provide, um, just uh, hit the... Uh, like button. I don't need you to subscribe, but just hit the like button and that'll do it. Thanks. Catch you later.